Hi, this is Brett Lonsdale from Lightning Tools. In this walkthrough, we're going to take a look at how to build a risk assessment form using a SharePoint list and also Lightning Forms, but we're also going to introduce another tool as well, which is the Kudzu Forms and the new Kudzu Bot. So as you can see, I've got a brand new SharePoint site called Risk Assessment in my Lightning Tools demo tenant, and uh, currently we don't have any lists or libraries created here other than those that get created when you initially create the site. So what we're going to do so that we can create the new list is actually come across to Kudzu Forms and uh, you'll notice that Kudzu Forms actually allows me to read in from other different form designs such as InfoPath and PDF Forms and things like that and transfer them over to a SharePoint list powered by Lightning Forms. Uh, but what we're going to do instead is actually use the new Kudzu bot, which can use AI in order to actually build a type of form that we want. And the reason that I'm going to use this is to just save myself a great deal of time and effort in creating a, a custom list and defining each of the different columns or site columns that I want to have for our risk assessment form. So in the bot here, we can just simply type in what we want. So I can type in, please, because I'm polite, uh, create me a risk assessment form. for my business. There we go. And uh, we'll hit go. And as you can see, it's going through generating the name of the form along with each of the different fields. And uh, it's come up with a number of different fields with internal names, display names, and field types all set. And over on the right hand side, we can preview what that form is going to look like. Uh, if, of course, we want to make any changes to that, we can do. So um, notice these are in a two column layout, uh, which is absolutely fine. We've got different risk control measures uh, already defined in here with different levels of risk uh, highlighted and so on. So I'm happy with that. I'm not actually going to make any changes, but if I wanted to, I could. Notice how we can get into those choices, uh, change those. We could, of course, remove any unwanted fields uh, that uh, we don't want to have inside our risk assessment form inside of SharePoint. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to go with it. So uh, we'll hit go. And uh, yep, Kudzu is verifying that it's going to be able to do this. It's going to be able to create the views, the fields, and the rules, uh, and anything associated with it. Um, so, uh, so that's all good. And uh, we've got a name for it here as well, which is the business risk assessment form. That's what it's uh, created for me. So what we'll do is we'll just find that business risk assessment form in the list of solutions here. And so here it is, we'll select that. And what we're gonna do is write this out. So uh, we'll click on to write, and we're gonna choose lightning forms as the destination. And what we want to do here is use my newly created SharePoint site as the destination. So I'm going to create a new connection to that new SharePoint site. And we're going to give it a name. This is for the uh, the actual uh, site itself. So we'll just call that risk assessment, just so we can recognize what that connection is. And we could describe it as well if we want to. And then once we're happy, uh, we can just test that. So notice the test was successful, we can save it, and we can hit go now. So uh, once we hit go, that has connected to SharePoint, it's building any lists that we re require, and it's also going through and defining each of those different columns and building out the form for our risk assessment. Okay, so it says it's done. Uh, let's just close this out. Uh, we'll go across to that SharePoint site. Let's click onto site contents. And sure enough, in here, we've now got the business risk assessment form. So we'll go into it. OK, and when we're in here, you can see each of the different columns that have been created within our view. And if we click onto Lightning Forms, uh, we can see we've got the new form, the edit form, and the display form. Let's click onto Customize for the new form. And sure enough, there's our two column layout as we created using the Kudzu bot. Okay, so uh, let's just test that out and see what changes we want to make. So uh, we'll just hit 
save and close. In fact, one of the things I'm going to do also is just increase the size of the form because I like to have bigger forms. Uh, but now let's just uh, save and close that. And we'll hit new and now we can start to fill out our risk assessment so we've got the business name business address details etc we can fill all of those out the uh, type of business um, so we can choose that it's technology we've got the date picker here for the date of the risk assessment the assessment type and uh, yeah, a number of other different options that we can go through and choose in here for our risk levels and so on okay so um, there's a risk assessment form uh, created in no time at all. Uh, we can save those values and now we can begin to customize the look and feel of that form. So if I go back into Lightning Forms and edit the customization of the new form, notice how in here we can add other controls to this form as well. So if we wanted to add, for example, a different number of columns with a new section we could do that so I could add a one column section right at the very top here uh, we could go in and add things like a rich text control uh, so we've got a title on our form so we just call this a risk assessment and we'll provide that as the title um, and then we may want tabs and, and things like that that we can go through and also set on here as well uh, if there's any other values that we want to set, so uh, setting things like the, the date uh, as an initial date, we could do that. So we could get into a function here. Okay, we can test this, make sure that we're getting the, the date back as we, we want. So we can set that initial value uh, in there. We've got the assessor name, uh, so this could come from the currently logged on user just saving him from typing in any information so we can set that value and of course we could also go in and uh, change choices and things like that inside of lookup columns uh, what we might also want to do is uh, highlight um, some high level risks in, in different colors and things like that so we could get into the uh, formatting and the, and the styling so if we go to the risk level field we could add a style to this and what we could do is have the risk level is equal to high and if that is equal to high uh, then we could change the colors of that field so um, we've got the uh, the label uh, we could change the, uh, the the color of the label so we could go with the deep red uh, or something like that from our theme and um, we could also set a border around the field as well so notice in here we've got our border uh, so we could also use a red color for our border maybe change the thickness of the border slightly as well so if we preview that you can see here that's what uh, risk level would look like if we uh, we set that to high Okay, so um, that's just some of the examples that we can do. And of course, we've also got actions that we can perform and so on. Um, if you look up actions in our help center, uh, you'll be able to see how we can walk through some of those. Uh, but creating some actions on here, maybe uh, submitting the risk assessment to the risk assessment committee or something along those lines so that you know that, that exists. But uh, yeah, for now, I uh, hope you found this useful and uh, thank you for watching.